On a central coastline in the Scottish Highlands sits a village of less than a thousand people where a daily battle for life is taking place. This village is Cromarty, and as well as housing a group of friendly locals, it's well known for its natural beauty and wildlife. In fact, the village's very name is derived from a set of Scottish words that refer to the impressive headlands either side of the bay it's found in. These headlands are the North and South Suitors, which are named after two giant shoemakers that were said to watch over the people of Cromarty when they weren't throwing their tools at each other over the ocean gap. If you take the bus into Cromarty, you'll be treated to some gorgeous views of the scenery. Then once you get out at the village's bus stop, you'll have a great opportunity to walk through the streets and find all sorts of unique shops. But you'll need to walk down by the shore to catch sight of the battle that's happening. You might think it's Cromarty's famous dolphins that we'd be looking for here, but instead it's something a little closer to shore and a lot more common. When the tide goes out, all across the sandy beaches, many species of seabirds descend to feast on the newly exposed sea creatures. Here, a black-back gull, the largest of any gull species in the world, surveys the coast. But further along, the surrounding herring gulls find what they're looking for. The common starfish is a five-armed, bright orange invertebrate found on all UK and Irish coastlines. It's a voracious predator and has a rather morbid way of devouring its prey. It pries apart shells with those strong arms, inserts its stomach inside to dissolve its prey with its digestive juices, then it reabsorbs its stomach along with all the nutrients from its now mushy prey. Even though they're a predator, these animals aren't the top of their food chain. Also seen all over UK and Irish coastlines are the herring gulls. They may be a common sight, but they're actually a red-listed species because of how much their population numbers have gone down recently. These large gulls have a very clever way of hunting their strangely shaped prey. Unable to hold and bite down, they must instead whack the starfish repeatedly against the ground. This method tears the creature's limbs off one at a time so that the gull can swallow each part whole without any resistance. Although it's an effective strategy to defeat the smaller predator, it does mean that the remaining parts are left open to being stolen by other gulls while the hunter is swallowing one of the legs. This battle of life and death isn't the only one that you can see on every UK and Irish coastline. The oyster catcher is a smaller seabird that's also common to spot hunting prey on our shores. Unfortunately, due to years of unsustainable harvesting, it's now extremely rare to see native oysters in UK waters. So despite their name, the oyster catcher usually feeds on mussels and cockles here. Oyster catchers use that long beak to hammer or pry open the shells of their prey so that they can consume the edible flesh within. Visiting Cromarty is a great reminder that you don't always need to seek out the big charismatic species to see unique behaviours playing out. Let me know in the comments which life and death battles you've seen play out in your local natural area. If you want to see more clips like this, then consider joining the fans that are already supporting me on Patreon. Just a few pounds from you each month really helps me to have opportunities to go out and film the natural world and then be able to explain the behaviour to you. I really want to say a huge thank you to those that are already donating because it helps me keep filming.